Walsh. If you don't know who Joe Walsh is, he's a Tea Party congressman, got voted in in 2010. He's got a couple of claim to fame. There was video of, uh, of him yelling at a constituent during a meetup at a bar where they were spoke, talking about the banking crisis. And he was screaming at her, I'm so sick and tired of people blaming the banks for this. And then he later on blamed it for too much coffee, which is why he was yelling. His other claim to fame is that he's Mr. Balance the Budget, personal responsibility, and uh, yet he's the guy who was uh, foreclosed on. His own uh, condominium got foreclosed on, and he was didn't pay any child support, so he was a deadbeat dad at the same time. Okay, so he's mad at people on unemployment and welfare, but he's a deadbeat dad. So this is Joe Walsh. He's a congressman. And so he's running against Tammy Duckworth, who is a double amputee veteran of the Iraq war. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind. She's the first, I, she might be the only female double amputee veteran uh, in the history of the United States. She was a helicopter pilot, got shot down. Her right arm got tore up. She lost both her legs, one from the hip down. So she's the real deal. She's a serious person and she's running for Congress. And here's Joe Walsh's criticism of her at their debate the other night. Last point, I was marching in a parade in Schaumburg Sunday, two days before the Democratic Convention, when Tammy Duckworth was on a stage down in Charlotte, if you can look at the picture, picking out a dress for her speech Tuesday night. That's what I was referring to. What, what, do you want her to go naked? I, I mean, she got to pick, don't you go to your closet every morning and say, well, I got to pick out, the, do I wear the gray or do I... I don't what? understand that criticism that she so she was actually picking out something to wear. Well, I was doing hard <laughs> duty, unlike her, by marching in, in a, a parade, parade. By which she means sitting in the back of a convertible getting a suntan. I was wearing a tasseled loafer <laughs> while she was out <laughs> trying to pick out a dress. And, it just, and okay, granted, she well, can't look, wear loafers. It's a cheap it, shot, but yeah, yeah. okay. It's a, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a veiled sexist comment, yes, right? Yes, I mean, he's saying, so he's saying, look, I was a man, man and she's a marching Marching in a parade. Well, he wasn't marching. I'm sure he was in a convertible. Yeah. Uh, but she was picking out her pretty little dress. But yeah. here's the problem. <laughs> she is a 20-year veteran. Yes. Uh, a double amputee, a winner of multiple awards uh, and, and medals. Valor. Uh, uh, medals, You know, yeah. for her mm -hmm. bravery in combat. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to paint her as like this little girly girl who is wants, who is just into pretty dresses. So he sounds like a completely detached clown. Well, uh, he's one of those, we talked about it earlier in the show, about they live in this little bubble, right, where they only talk to each other and they think everybody else thinks this way. And they don't realize that when they say stuff like this in public, the regular people go, you guys are out of your fucking mind. Right. And, and by the way, that when Tammy Duckworth was risking her life for her country and being grievously wounded in 2004, Joe Walsh was back at home getting sued by his wife for failure to pay yes. child support. Yes. I mean, this is this is like she's uh, fighting. Uh, mm -hmm. She's fighting in Iraq, and he's home fighting not to not to pay his right. child support. Fighting a divorce court. Yeah. <laughs> yes. so, so it's pretty right, so, equal. So let's go to the vi let's go to the video of her response. The uh, discussion from the real issues that that are at hand, and and yes, uh, I do sometimes look at the clothes that I wear. But you know, for most of my adult life, I've worn one collar. It's called camouflage. <laughs> All right, Boom. So, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's great. That's, so, that's so, what we were waiting for Barack Obama to do a couple of times the other night. Right. He never he, did it. She did it. Bam! Yeah, I, I, I just want to read a little, little excerpt about Duckworth. And um, Duckworth lost her right leg near the hip and her left leg below the, below the knee from injury sustained on November 12, 2004, when the UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter that she was co-piloting was hit by a RPG fired by Iraqi insurgents. She's the first female double amputee from Iraq, and the explosion almost completely destroyed her right arm. It broke in three places. She received a Purple Heart. She also received uh, the Air Medal and the Army Commendation Medal. And, and by the I way, mean, what a bad ass. I mean, she's, she's for real. And this little clown Joe who's running around in 2000 trying to avoid paying child support. I mean, but they've done this before. Look, Max Cleland, Senator Max yes. Cleland, yes. Yes. lost both arms and both legs. And they ran against him successfully. Mm -hmm. And part they, of the campaign was, well, he, he did it on purpose because he didn't want to serve any. Uh, the depths to which these people go it, are and just I think, unbelievable. And that was in Georgia, correct? Yeah. It was, Georgia. Georgia. It was in Georgia. And that's why I don't think that people in Georgia should be allowed to vote anymore. That's my proposal. No, it, it's not it's, without a $10,000 piece of ID. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, that's a great example because Max Cleland 
you know, he lost all of his limbs, yes. fight, you know, fighting for us. And uh, Saxby Chambliss, who beat Saxby him. Saxby Chambliss, yeah. I, yes. I was blanking at yeah, yeah, who beat him, didn't even serve. Right, right. Had the audacity to say that, um, that uh, Max Cleland is not a true American. Yes. And that he's not a, he's not a real hero, which is, which is the exact same line that Joel Walsh is taking against Duckworth. I mean, he claimed that she's not a true hero either because she talks about her military service too much. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and look, I, I, I don't think he need to have served in the military in order to be a, a, a political leader. I mean, I know, but if you have, and you're a, people are willing to go to these disgusting lengths to discredit the service you gave your country. There's nothing. Remember when Kerry was running, and and the, you saw all these pictures of like these fat suburban mm -hmm. Republicans at the convention wearing the little purple heart stickers to make fun of the fact he was wounded in combat. These people yes. actually respect. Nothing. Nothing. Right. Yeah, and, and I just want to make this point that Republicans claim to be pro-military, pro-troops. They're not. They're not. They are only pro. Right, that's my point. Yeah, yeah. Th they're only pro-defense contractors. Uh, people who serve, the actual soldiers, the people who actually get killed and maimed for our country, no respect for them. The way they treat Tammy Duckworth, Max Cleland, John Kerry. John Kerry. I mean, he was. I mean, that swift boating of John Kerry was unconscionable. I, um, again, nobody gets embarrassed by it. Nobody loses a job. In fact, the guy got elected off it. It's, it's unbelievable. And so, I'll say this thing about Joe Walsh. This isn't the first time he's done st something stupid like this as far as sexist attacks. He wrote on his blog right after the Democratic National Convention. This is what he wrote. Ready? He said, uh, uh, becoming abundantly clear that at this point the only debate Mrs. Duckworth is actually interested in having is which outfit she'll be wearing for her big speech. So he can't stop doing this. Like so the fact that she's picking out clothes to wear is, uh, yeah, like Joe Walsh, you know, I just, I wake up, I put on the first fucking thing I, put, I see in the morning, obviously. <laughs> Look at me. Look how I'm dressed. Right. Yeah. Right. That's why my wife divorced me and took my kids away from me. Look at me. I combed the top of my hair with an iron. <laughs> and by the way, he doesn't offer that same criticism of Paul Ryan, who seems to give a lot of attention. A lot to of attention appearance. to how he looks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Again, and it's a horrible strategy. I mean, trying to paint uh, a, a war hero as a little girly girl Barbie doll who just, who's into clothes. I mean, it's just well, such we a say it's horrible, but Saxby so Chambliss won. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So again, this this he he if he it makes you feel bad about America. It makes me feel bad and about humanity living, in and general, humanity frankly. in general. Yeah. Yes, it really does.